a tale of man. Never before in galactic span has been told the tale of man. Defies all bound, defies all space, upsets all theories, and in their place puts wisdom of the ancient race, stories of creation thrown, of man who left his home from stars among the universe and found the earth alone, void of purpose, without form, cold, barren, uniform. No room to differentiate choice from predetermined fate and save the world before it is too late. For mankind, since time has opened up its book for a solution to problems and terrorism looks, and each age has the answer, and each age the road will pave, and all our undaunted saviors lead us to that same grave. So where can we find salvation? Can we discern from the movement of the tree within the quake, the presence or the power through which earthly things take shape? Can we know from the pull of the planet and the stars, the life within the atom, the life we know is ours? Did man in his greatest age to every prophet and every sage ever calm the unstoppable rage the ruthless destruction, the war, the hate, the cheating, and the lies. Did anyone stop the horror through the earthly wise? Did anyone you know of teach the roses how to grow, show the harmony to maple leaves, teach the river's rhythmic flow? Or have you heard of any man of earthly fame claimed to be the creator of his father's or his own name? Surely none can answer to the questions that we ask. Something far beyond anything we see could create beauty, create music for man to write a symphony. The principle of music comes before music. The principle of art comes before art. The laws and harmonies are existent, yet man must hear them in his heart. For all our worldly knowledge, all libraries and all brains can one, not in one instant heal all the world's pains. Love alone can heal, love alone can mend. Love alone gives life meaning. Love alone gives life anticipation of a greater time. Never before in galactic span.